up guys, this is Nick from Stridewise.com and today I am reviewing an iconic pair of selvage jeans. This is the flagship denim from Naked and Famous, the left hand twill. Famous is a Canadian company that uses Japanese denim and they're hugely popular in the world of selvage jeans. They kind of fill the gap between your regular Levi's jeans and your $400 Japanese jeans. Basically, Naked and Famous, they're usually the first pair of selvage jeans that someone buys. They're like an entry point into the world of raw denim. Sort of like how Red Wing boots are usually the entry point into the world of Goodyear welted boots. They've got a really wide variety of fits. They're very well known for that. And they're known for having a lot of really funny gimmicks as well with a lot of their clothes. Like they collaborated with Street Fighter to produce a a line of jeans that are each meant to reflect different characters from the video game. Like there's an E-Honda denim, which is like really, really thick because that's the sumo wrestler and so on. They've also come out with uh, scratch and sniff jeans before. They've even got some jeans that fade rainbow, which is like very interesting. So they have a lot of different kind of gimmicks, but what is not gimmicky, at least not with this particular pair of jeans, is the material they use. It is Japanese denim, it's 100% cotton, and there's a lot to talk about here. So let's take a close look at the denim itself. Now this is sanferized denim, so it won't shrink a crazy amount and it's selvage, so it's heavier and more durable than your average jean, the average guy might be used to. The weight is 13.75 ounces, so that's mid-weight. Most Levi's are between like 10.5 and 12.5, so it's relatively stiff, but it's not as cardboard-like as a lot of these 16, 17, 18 ounce denims out there. Now the big thing here is that this is left-hand twill and not right-hand twill like most jeans. You can see here it goes from the bottom right to the upper left. The industry standard is right hand twill, which is tighter and more compact. Left hand twill is a bit softer because of the yarn twist. So right hand twill uses yarn that's twisted in a counterclockwise twist, which loosens in the clockwise or right hand direction. Left hand twill pulls it to the left, so the warp lines up in order and makes for a softer feel. And like as it fades, it gets fuzzier as well, which a lot of people like. The fade, of course, is what everyone wants to know about raw denim. These jeans have an indigo warp and a white weft. In the ever so slight bit of fading around the crotch, you can see it is becoming a bit more white. And the left hand twill fades a lot vertically, this particular type of jean. So for some examples of fading, this is what it looks like eight months old and with four washes. This is from Reddit user Squiggly Pants. This one here is a year old pair from Brandon Spark and Blue Owl Workshop. And uh, this one here, this is a three year old pair from Mac Levine and that was published on the very good fashion site Heddle. So that's a few examples of what you can look forward to if you take care of these jeans the right way. So what about the construction? What else is going on with these jeans? So you can see that these jeans are relatively new. I've only had them for a couple months. I haven't washed them yet. But they have started to fade a little bit around the crotch where more of the white is coming through. And the stitching is this sort of dark gold color, which I think is a really nice color. It has a balance of interesting, but not too eye-catching, if that makes sense. It's got your classic button fly, which has naked and famous written on each of the buttons, which is kind of cool. And otherwise, it's your basic five pocket design for jeans. Although the coin pocket has a little exposure to selvage line, which I think is a really nice touch. Besides that, it is worth emphasizing that the pockets are unlined, at least on the back. So what that means is that if you always put your phone or your wallet in the same spot, that is going to start to appear in the pockets as the jeans start to fade, as they start to wear. That could be a pro or a con, depending on what you like. Personally, I'm not a fan of like my keys starting to come through the holes in the back of the pockets, but for a lot of people, that's the kind of where they like their jeans to reflect. So again, it's an individual preference there. Now we get Naked and Famous is well known for having a really wide variety of fits. The Weird Guy is a really popular one, but for me, I feel kind of dumb saying I have an athletic body, but it is true that uh, while I never gain muscle in my arms, I always gain it on my legs very easily, so I need something with a pretty roomy thigh. And also I have a very kind of high rise, like a tall butt crack. So for me, the Easy Guy is the one that works really well for me. It's pretty roomy in the thighs, it's got a nice high seat, and it tapers down sharply in the legs towards the ankle. So it makes it look pretty modern without accentuating too much the fact that it's like making extra room for you in the thighs. Now normally in my pants I'm a 32 inch waist. This is actually the 31 inch waist, which in actuality is a 33 inch waist. So this is always kind of hard for people to figure out, especially when they get into jeans, and especially when they get into raw denim jeans, most of which you have to buy online. So many different companies have a vanity sizing or the opposite of vanity sizing. Here again, it's a 31 inch waist on the label, but it's actually 33 inches in real life. So what you should do is actually get a tape measure and measure your waist before you buy a pair of these, and then check out the key on the website because they have like a little guide to what their sizes say they are, 
and what they actually are. The discrepancy is a bit like sort of annoying that it exists in the first place, but just make sure you're aware that's there before you buy yourself a pair of these. So while it's not the thickest and toughest denim in the entire world, Naked and Famous does have something in common with these fancier Japanese brands in that you are expected to wash them seldom. So how often is seldom? Many guys out there, they just wash them once or twice a year. I will say in my personal experience with these jeans, uh, relative to my more expensive jeans like uh, Studio Data Zen or Oni, I didn't love the way these felt after a couple of months of not washing them. Like I've been wearing them for two months and they do have more of a feeling of mustiness than my more expensive jeans. So I'm gonna wash these right after I film this video. Uh, when you do wash them, you wanna do it in cold water, you wanna turn them inside out first, and you wanna make sure you're not washing them with any other items of clothing because they do bleed when they get cleaned. So that's something that's really worth emphasizing. A lot of guys, they prefer to just kinda of put them in a bathtub of cold water and held them down with like some bricks to keep them underwater. That's how they clean them. That is of course more soaking them than actually cleaning them, but if you don't wanna agitate the denim, that's a possibility. A lot of guys out there are happy with the habit of soaking and freezing them as opposed to actually washing them in a machine. Uh, and no, it is a very, very sort of controversial thing to say when you're talking about washing raw denim, people have very, very strong opinions about it. I'm not telling you what you have to do. I'm just telling you personally, yeah, it felt more unwashed when it was unwashed compared to some other jeans. So I'm gonna wash them every 20 wears or so. So as far as the price goes, Naked and Famous is well known for being a very cost effective alternative to super expensive Japanese jeans, which often run like over $300 for a pair. For these jeans, you're looking at between $130 and $160. I got these for $145 at the Naked and Famous store here in Soho, but of course you can also get them online. Uh, and that's very, very inexpensive for a pair of jeans. Again, usually, you know, you're looking at hundreds of dollars and the price of Naked and Famous is probably the biggest upside for the company. All right, so why should you consider getting a pair of left-hand tool jeans from Naked and Famous? They're very reasonably priced. This is a super inexpensive brand for raw selvage denim. Uh, for a lot of people, it's gonna be a really good entry point into the world of raw denim if you're interested in it but don't wanna spend over $300 on a pair of jeans. This is a very good first pair of jeans. And for many people, second, third, fourth, fifth pair of jeans as well. Also, I like the look of them. They have a more modern look than a lot of other jeans out there, uh, just because like the denim is kind of metallic. And I like the way it contrasts with this like dark gold stitching. It has a bit more of a modern focus. Like these don't look quite so much like uh, the old fashioned jeans people used to wear to warehouses uh, and factories in the early 20th century. That could be a pro or a con depending on your own experience. And that's the thing with these sorts of reviews, like everything is a good thing or a bad thing depending on your own personal preference. Like another example of that is that the twill is very easy to follow. You can compare that with my Studio Data Zen jeans, which are very, very fuzzy and the twill is difficult to follow. Some people, they like to have that twill on their jeans. They think it makes for a better fading experience. It's totally up to you. Also, these are sanferized denim. That's another thing that uh, some people like about it. Some people think that means it's not technically raw denim because it means it's been soaked before you get it. Uh, that's fine. People debate over these terms a lot. I'm not gonna take a stand either way. The fact that they are sanferized, while it makes them a little bit less raw, it means that it's just kind of easier to know what your fit is because when they're unsanferized, you have to, when you first try them on, they're very baggy. You have to kind of guess how they're going to shrink. This is basically the, uh, the fit that you're going to get. And then finally, I like the wide range of fits. There are a lot of fantastic raw denim companies out there, but if they don't have jeans that fit your body type, you're just kind of out of luck. Naked and Famous does a really good job of having a really wide variety of fits. Like on message boards online, a lot of people complain about the low rise in Naked and Famous. They were sort of known for that for a while, but they've really expanded their line. And this is a very nice high rise, which fits really well on my body type. So yeah, the variety of the fits is a big selling point. Now there are definitely some downsides to these jeans. Uh, they got quite a few loose threads after not that much wear, which uh, I wasn't that crazy about. It also fades vertically uh, a lot, this particular type of denim. Some people like that, some people don't. Uh, that's worth pointing out. A lot of people don't like the buttons either, just because they're not like nice, heavy brass sorts of buttons, you get in more expensive brands. Again, it's just personal preference, uh, but some people aren't a fan of that. They feel it doesn't feel like quite as substantial and old worldy as a lot of other brands, which is a fair criticism. They also do bleed a lot when they get wet, uh, especially if you're wearing like white sneakers out and about and it rains, uh, there's a good chance you're gonna get some blue on your shoes. And of course it makes it kind of hard to wash as well. It's not that unusual for raw denim, but it is worth emphasizing. Finally though, I think the biggest downside with these jeans, the one that I hear people complain about a lot is the fact that they do stretch quite a bit. Uh, since I got these, they've stretched like one or two inches in the waist. Now when I wash them, they're gonna shrink up again and it's gonna be okay. And you can wear a uh, you can wear a belt with them when you wear them like, all the time. That's gonna help to prevent the waist from stretching out. But nonetheless, when you're going like, you know, six months or a year between washes, if that's the way you like to approach your jeans, yeah, by the time you're heading toward your next wash, they're gonna be a lot baggier than when you first got them out of the wash. So that is worth remembering as well. Some people don't like that element of the jeans. 
So those are my thoughts on Naked and Famous's left hand twill selvage jeans, the signature denim from what many would consider North America's signature denim company, at least in the world of selvage jeans. So really excited to get this review up and I'm really looking forward to what you guys think of it. Let me know in the comments if you have a pair of Naked and Famous jeans and also make sure you subscribe because I got a ton more denim reviews and boot reviews and other kinds of reviews coming up.